What's up guys? Today we're going to do a little cooking in the Solovar oven. I feel something building up inside me. I must prepare. I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Today looks like a good enough day that we're going to give the Solovar oven a try. Try to cook something up. Uh, I'll show you the clouds in a second. You should be able to see the reflection because I see the reflection of the reflection of me taking the film. So <laughs> let me show you the clouds. I think we're going to have enough sun today to do some good cooking. Very little cloud cover, but you know, there's, there's spots up there that uh, are no cloud cover. But we're going to give it a try. Okay, we're going to start off with some potatoes and some garlic. i got to cut this up and put it in there. But I have some spices in here I'll show you. So i got some lemon and rosemary. Our uh, sponsors, look how beautiful red and beautiful that cayenne is are going to get some of those uh this coming up month okay. all right i'm gonna put a little sesame oil on there and mix that in all right i got a little bit of rosemary i'm gonna put a little rosemary on there i wanted to open them up instead of just shaking them on there and show you how beautiful Fresh herbs look on. <laughs> look at this cayenne. Okay, T, that's water. You're writing water. All right, I got some chicken and some turkey kielbasa in there. And I put some ingredients over there. I'm going to add a little bit of a... Uh, this is something that we, we make up... Uh, it's kind of like soup in a jar. You can add noodles and rice or, or, you know, chicken if you need to. But that's the chicken broth and all your ingredients. Just add to your soup. So I'm going to add a little bit to this just for flavoring. And I don't mind opening it up because we're having fresh green beans. And uh, I put a little bit of that in, in the green beans to season them. So we're going to have green beans and this potato casserole kind of thing. I'll bring it out to you. here, but... Uh... The oven's just about two, I'd say 240, something like that. Uh, I haven't got the black things in there yet, so I'm going to get the black pans. I went ahead and brought the ingredients to the green beans out here. and just go ahead and do it out here. Mama's uh, teaching homeschool in there. <laughs> it's hard for me to, can you pause for a second? But it, it don't happen. All right, let's get going. Note to self, always bring pre-opened canning jars. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn these upside down. Add a little bit of our soup starter. All right, we got our two pots in there. We didn't lose that much heat. We maybe lost 25 degrees getting them two pots in there. And we'll come back in about an hour and check on it, see how we're doing. I forgot there's these little clips. You're supposed to pop these little clips over there like that. I guess helps keep the lid on good so I'll get them popped and we'll check back. Alright, let me take off the top. Alright, this is gonna be hot. It's cooking. Green beans. 
I can feel the steam on them. Put this back on. I'm going to lose all the heat. Ooh, even the top's hot. There we go with cooking. It's been about an hour. Cooked in so our we'll check back in a bit. new solar bar oven. Thanks to Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. It's such a wonderful gift, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's the weirdest thing, guys. <laughs> Standing out here and it's like a traffic jam. Three cars go by. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I guess everybody wouldn't leave at the same time. All right, we've been looking, letting it cook for about four hours and it's still maintaining that temperature of around 175, 200 degrees. It's 200 degrees right now. So I'm going to open it up and see what we find. You should have felt the heat that just come boiling out of there. Oh, yeah. Looks done. Let me sit this right down here. Check the potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes seem nice and done too. Don't forget to use the oven mitts. Because <laughs> these burn. Ooh. Mm, smell them green beans. It never got up 220 degrees, so it wasn't going to boil well. But let me see how they are. Mmm. Wonderful. Cooked by the sun. We're fixing to go in and enjoy a nice dinner. I wish y'all were here. If you like the videos and you like our content we're putting out, please subscribe to us, like the video, and comment below. And everybody check out our video on uh, about losing the greenhouse, how it's, it, it might be a good thing. We got our Edition started and uh, we're still looking for a few more support more sponsors and uh, we actually have some uh, Getting everything ready for the packages that are be going out All right guys uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this because we're fixing to have an enjoyment <laughs> Ani Ove Ocha means I love you in Hebrew later guys Live in the way you meant for me to live is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Lead me at your pace For you, Lord, I'll go for green living Help me to feed all the hungry Use me, Lord, to ease their misery From all this worldly pain and captivity for you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady.